Hello, I'm Brandon Storch with Cellcom Sales Development and Support Team. And today I have another module covering the iMonit Cloud Portal. In this module, we are going to take a look at the Sensors tab located on the left hand side here. If we click on Sensors, it is going to bring us into a screen that will show all of the different sensors that we have communicating to our specific gateway. Currently, as you can see, we have four different sensors. One of them, for training purposes, we unplugged from the wall so that it wouldn't be communicating back to our gateway. As you can see, that one is currently not checking in at all, and it says that its status is unavailable. Now, we have a brief overview of each one of the sensors that we have set up. The top one here is a button press sensor. Uh, we have an open and, door, open and closed door sensor. We have a motion detection sensor, and we also have a sensor telling us whether or not water is present, our water detect sensor. Now on this main landing page for sensors, it'll tell you what time this specific sensor last checked in with us. So as you can see, uh, today is February 4th, and we've had check-ins all within the last hour from each one of our sensors. If we move over to the right a little bit here to this next column, this is going to tell us what our battery levels are at. As you can see, the water detect sensor only uses one AA battery and our battery life is good. The button press sensor and our motion detect sensor both utilize two AA batteries, both of which are in good health. Moving over to the far column on the right here, we have our signal strength. So this is the signal strength between our Monit gateway and this specific sensor. And in all cases, our signal strength is fantastic with the exception of our open and closed uh, sensor, which we have disconnected for the training. If I click on a specific sensor here, so let's go down to our water detect sensor, it'll bring me to the landing page for that specific sensor. Now, as you can see, we have a variety of different things being displayed on our details tab. Uh, first, of all, first of all, our current status, no water present. Again, signal strength, battery life. Next, we have our readings chart. Our readings chart is pretty flat, which is fantastic. That means we haven't had any water into our basement. As you can see up top here, you can actually indicate the time range from the readings chart. Uh, so let's go and move this here to a different date. Let's move this all the way back to the 16th here for our start and for our end, let's go to today. So as you can see, it'll highlight on the calendar the date range that we set. I can click set and now it'll be displaying from January 16th to February 4th. Again, we've had a very dry basement, which is fantastic. If we move back up to the top of our screen here, you can see we have a history tab. So by clicking on the history tab, this is going to display all of our recent check-ins. As you can see, we have our heartbeat intervals set at two hours apiece. That means every two hours, our sensor is going to communicate back to the gateway and give us the status on whether or not water is present. In all cases, we have no water present, which is fantastic. Again, from the history tab, much like the details tab, we can set our date parameters from when we'd like to see. We can also have the option to export this data uh, if we'd like to keep this for our records. Going back up to the, to the top ribbon here, if we click on the events tab, this is where the action really happens. And this is one of the great things about the iMonit system. This is the, the, the part of the portal that will allow you to set up event triggers. So again, we are in our water detect sensor. If we go down, to the triggers down here, it says no events assigned. Click here to create a new event. Let's click there. So from here, we get a drop down of what kind of event we want to set up uh, a notification for. If I click select event type here, I can go down to sensor read. We want to determine whether or not water is detected. From here, we can select our sensor type. We're going to go to water. And we want it to notify us when the sensor has detected water. So I can now hit save. 
and it's done. We have set up a trigger to alert us when water is detected. Next, if we go to actions, this is our last trigger that we had set up, whether or not water was detected. We can add an action for that. If you click on the little plus sign here, it allows you to choose from a drop down what type of action you'd like. Personally, I'm always out and about, not hanging out in my basement, determining if there's water present or not, so I'd like a notification sent right to my smartphone. So when we click on send notification, it brings us to another screen where we can set up what that notification is going to look like. So first of all here, the subject line, this is where it's going to allow us to determine what we would like our th this specific uh, action to be called. I'm going to call it water detected. Next, if we go down here, this is the message that will send to your device if water is detected. So let's change this. All right, so we have the notification set up as water detected, and the message that it's going to send right to my smartphone is, there is water in your basement. Simple enough. Over on the right-hand side here, this is where it determines whether or not you have email, text message, or a voice alert set up. We currently have Jeremy set up in the system to receive this notification via email. But you can additionally add uh, a text message. In the example that I utilize, I would personally like a text message sent right to my phone in the event that water is detected. Lastly, we hit save and we're all done. We just created an action for our water detect sensor. And now every time that sensor detects water, I'll know about it almost immediately. You can click back on your sensors main page and this will get you right back to the overview of all of your different sensors. Now we could go in and set up a different alert for each one of these sensors. Additionally, we can set up multiple different alerts uh, for a given sensor. Uh, so again, the Monet Portal Sensors tab, this is what allows you to have your gateway communicate back to your phone and get you that pertinent information that you need. Thank you.